Hi there guys, today we got this new edition Li One and uh, I will be driving this car in the next coming seven days and uh, we also will conduct several tests for this car if you guys have anything you want to know about this car and uh, please leave a comment below the new version is equipped 5mm with radar sensors and 12 ultrasonic radar sensors and also 5 surround cameras so including one 8 megapixel cameras the autonomous driving chip has been upgraded to Horizon Robotics Journey 3 so theoretically the, the autonomous driving ability and the automatic parking ability uh, has been improved in this new version and uh, as we can see here so this is quite big SUV so it came with uh, a around 5 meter length and uh, nearly 2 meters wide so it's going to be a big challenge for it in the autonomous driving and also the automatic parking today we're going to taste the automatic parking for this car and uh, let's check it out we will conduct this test and the three scenarios sport parking between two empty parking lots and parking near pillars parking between two cars the strategy is integrating the radar sensors and the cameras to achieve the visual fusion so to start the automatic parking either we can do it from screen here and also we can press this button to start the automatic parking and then we hit this button here oh no, we need to put on the driver mode and then we push this button and you will see like uh, many parking spots is being visualized on the screen here now we keep driving now we are driving you need to keep the speed and uh, 20 km per hour and uh, yeah you will see the more parking space and it's being visualized on the screen here yeah. parking space detected stop the car to auto park yeah. so we, we can see there there was no there were so many parking spot there so it may easy for human to park in this kind of uh, parking space but for the machine for the artificial intelligence so it's a uh, challenge for them as there's no uh, any cars or any other things objects as reference so it may be uh, challenging for them so now we're going to park so probably going to park into this one just wait okay here we go so we press this one so then we hit the start button here auto park started check surroundings We can see this blue indication uh, reversing lane here uh, which tells you the reversing direction okay all oh, right it looks all right now the good thing is uh, the system tells you like uh, keep driving or continue driving like how many meters okay little adjustment here and yeah here we go a little bit back one more a little bit more yeah. auto part completed Oh, that is good. That's that's pretty impressive. It's it's as quick as uh, as I do it myself, and also we can see the the lines. The car is right on the middle. Like it's not too much to the left side or not too much not too much to the right side. It's just right on the center. And that's pretty good. All right, now we're gonna have to try another scenario. So you guys see this all these pillars, and uh, what I'm thinking, I'm gonna just going to drive the car and near the the pilots near the pilots and uh, so let's see how it performs okay here we go all right okay you see that pilot parking space detected stop the car to auto park and probably go to park it into this space here okay we find it we'll go to this one and then we hit the start button auto park started check surroundings yeah during the automatic parking process we have to 
release outbreak and we also need to check the surroundings to prevent any unpredictable events comes up okay The good thing is uh, the system will tell you like uh, how many meters is going to drive or going to reverse. Little adjustment here. And also you will see this route here. After this, we will get idea how is it going to reverse. Drive. Oh, that's pretty close. And little adjustment. Okay, keep driving, keep, rever keep reversing. Okay, seems alright. Looks good. Yeah, 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 a little bit more. Reverse a little bit more. Autopilot complete. Yeah, that's it. In this scenario, so it takes a little bit more time because there's a spider over there, and uh, and also the system may need to take a little bit time to process to compute the best uh, route to do the reversing. As we can see here, so it is right on the center as well it's not too much to the left hand side or the right hand side it's right on the middle yeah that's impressive okay now i'm going to try the scenario to park between two cars okay put on the drive and here we go parking space detected stop the car to auto park so I'm going to park between two cars. All right, we got it. And then we press start. Release the Auto brake. Park started. Check surroundings. Okay. Do a little adjustment here. And second adjustment here. Okay, one more. Okay, we are getting to the spot now. Keep driving, keep reversing, keep a little bit more, a little bit more. Auto park completed. Okay, that's great. And we can see. The car is parked within the spot, um, may a little bit to the right hand side as the Mitsubishi is parked a little bit close to our car. It did take some time on this scenario because it did few times steering wheel adjustment. The overall experience was good, especially in the first scenario. It actually did a pretty good job. Although, experienced driver could do it better in the other two scenarios. Autonomous driving is keep optimizing and artificial intelligence is fast learning. Probably after a few years or even shorter, the artificial intelligence may do it in a more confident way and automatic parking will be normal in most scenarios. I will bring you guys more video about this the auto. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel for further videos if you are interested in those kind of contents. And uh, thanks for watching today.